Hey everybody, Amber here with your Friday fun video. I'm here with my girl Aurelia, our groomer, who has been with us. She's our senior groomer. She is the best groomer. If you don't know her, you need to get in here and meet her. She is gonna help us talk about a little bit uh, brushing today. How do we keep our dogs mat free? How do we keep their coat nice and clean during this time? So I'm gonna turn it over to Aurelia and she is gonna enlighten and educate everyone today. Hang tight. Hi guys, it's Aurelia. I'm here to tell you about the brushes that we have and what you should be using at home. So the very first brush you should be using this is the beginner brush, is your pin brush. This is how you introduce your puppy to getting groomed. The pin brush is very soft. It has a ballpoint tip, so you're not scratching skin. You can use this on any type of dog. Usually you're gonna use this on your puppies, any type of puppies. Um, the ball points are um, able to distribute oil through the coat and it gives a great massage. You see the slicker brush. This is your best friend. Me and Danielle use these on a regular basis. They're wire bristle, so they can penetrate hair that's medium to long length. Doodles, this is your savior. There's many different variations of these particular brushes. Um, these are more professional because they have a little give to them. They have a little flexibility um, just for doing vigorous brushing to your big doodles and poodles. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, these are the ones that you graduate from using your pen brush. This is the brush that will grow with you. So make sure you have it. Now we have your rake brush. So this is used for your chow chows, your German shepherds, your double coat dogs. Um, the rakes um, penetrate the hair to get to the double coat and pull out excess hair. So there's different variations of those. Um, we have the rake wand. So if you have a dog that's shedding excessively, you can use this in a reverse motion to remove pet dander. This is amazing. So for my pits, my puppies with short, short hair, the curry brush. Yes, our pits get brushed too. The curry brush can be used wet or dry and it gives your dog a great massage. So don't forget the pits. This is a benefit. So can you also use this one in the tub while you're bathing? Could you put shampoo in it? And yes, it'll help lather up the dog and it makes the experience even better. Awesome. So I know this is a small brush, <laughs> but guess what? This is a brush for a dog just as well. It's a bristle brush. And usually this brush is used on like your chihuahuas, your greyhounds, the very, very, very short dogs. Even though this is a small one, I'm sorry guys, I don't have a big one, but this one gets all that pet dander off. Oh, okay. This is amazing just as well. Awesome, thank you. So for my clients out there, I don't wanna ever see you use these particular ones. These are ferminators and dematting combs. These can actually cut the hair and actually cause brush burn and injury to the dogs. If you look at this particular one, this one has serrated blades on the sides. So- oh, really, that looks like a torture device. No, you have to use it the correct way. So that's why I just want to make sure that my clients are not using these. Okay. Because for instance, usually ferminators are used for uh, your chow chows, Siberian huskies. If you don't know how to use it correctly, it will end up cutting the dog's hair. And certain breeds cannot get cut like your huskies. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay guys, this is my friend Sam and I'm gonna show you how to use your slicker brush. So a lot of parents, what they do is just go with the, the flow of the body, just going with the contour of the body. That's a mistake. You can go over what I call speed bumps, tangles, 
um, with just going over the body like this. It's almost like airbrushing. It's not doing any justice to the color. So what you wanna do is actually do a reverse brush. So go against the grain and you can see the hair follicles are wet. And if there's any areas of concern, the brush will slow down. You can feel like a halt when you're doing the brush. And you do that with the whole entire body. So the side and especially the legs, it gives the hair volume. And Sam likes it. <laughs> so what do I do if I run into a speed bump? Speed call bump? my groomer? You call us. We'll awesome. take care of that. Don't take the scissors. Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't take the scissors and, and, and go at your dog because once the hair is gone, it's, it's gone, gone for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and we, we can't put you know, that back together. So with that being said, any questions, me and Danielle, we're here for you. Um, and happy brushing. All right, y'all. Thank you, Raya, for helping me today. If you have any other questions, please come and talk to our grooming team. We are open for grooming seven days a week. So if you want to come see us, we would love to come see you. Aurelia is here and Danielle is here, and we can answer any questions for you. Thanks. Stay healthy, everybody. Love you.